Hello folks, welcome back to another entry to my random game series. This is also the first entry, well new entry, into a different playlist I made for demos and trials and things like that. I recently was like browsing through the Steam library looking for games that were on my wish list, and I guess I'd never really noticed that there's a ton of demos available on Steam. Well, and elsewhere, but anyways, I kind of like playing game demos, uh, just because they kind of are their own little thing that's, uh, sometimes it's different content from a full game and gives me a chance to try things out, you know, before I, if I want to buy it or not. Anyways, I found this game called Artania that it says is a non-linear post-apocalyptic adventure game in retro stylistics. Tra during your travel around the post-apocalyptic world by the old locomotive, you will come face to face with difficult decisions which will determine your destiny. It kind of looked interesting to me, so I figured I'd pick up the demo and uh, give it a try. So here we go. Right, English please. Brightness is okay. Game offers non-linear experience without the ability to save and learn progress. Okay, well, it's a demo, so let's hope I don't have to don't lose progress much. I actually picked up quite a lot of demos just recently uh, for games that have been around for a while or, or pretty new or that aren't out yet. So I'm thinking about playing through some of them just to check them out, record them. Have you ever heard the stories about the end? Yes, exactly about that absolute end when the humanity is drowning into the depth of the beast. I'm sure you heard a lot of this, and I've heard one too. But this one is not about an apocalypse where zombies occupy the streets, neither about the aliens that came from the above, neither is about made up worlds, but rather about our reality, about people. As predicted, the invention of the nuclear weapons has changed it all. Never before has murder been of this vast scale and this destructive. After the decline of the USSR, the biggest in the world arsenal of weapons was divided between new established countries, Russia, Atania, Ukraine, and other young and ambitious nations. A couple of world leaders understood that such a wide-scale spreading of nuclear weapons among young and stable political regimes can turn into a great catastrophe. Meanwhile, weak democracies were fallen under the pressure of authoritarian traditions. New dictators and military junta were coming to power. This is how the project of Budapest Memorandum was born. A treaty about nuclear disarmament of post-Soviet countries. A treaty that was supposed to secure the world from a nuclear catastrophe to create an effective system of containment and counterbalance. A treaty that was never actually signed. War came earlier. The war that swallowed up the entire world. Right. Whoa, lag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? My name is... Oh, it doesn't matter now. I'm just one of the strayed ghosts in a dead world. There is no one to call me. Frantic hunger makes me move faster. I hope you'll be able to find something. What is with the really crummy stuttering? Is it just loading? Okay. Thought it said we moved in a... Whoa. That said we were moving via locomotive. Maybe it's not in the demo. What is with the frame rate? Holy sh... Very unstable, I'm not sure why. Although the full game is out, so maybe the demo's just not optimized. Is this our train? Ahead you could recognize a small wooden building through the fog and an old industrial locomotive standing next to it. That was a sawmill. What? Cool. Our train, huh? Thing 
is quite wrong with the uh, performance. Smokes. Closed. You don't say. Small sawmill. Thing in here I can use. The stuttering is really kind of getting old. Oh, who's this? In case this chucklehead forgets everything I've explained to him during an hour long instruction, I'm leaving you a brief one about starting an engine. To heat the boiler and prepare it for motion, you need to start the fire with the help of a lighter and enough fuel. The boiler's doors have to be closed. Adjust the supply of steam to the engine with the help of a lever in the boiler center. Adjust the speed with a valve on the right side of the boiler. I recommend that you turn the acceleration valve slowly to give the boiler enough time to heat up. I hope it'll be alright and your new operator won't forget anything. Just in case you know how to get in touch with me, good luck. Okay. Right. Guess we'll just fiddle with levers. Until we get it to work. What's this? A lever that looks like a part of some mechanism. We ought to take that. Anything else in here I need to bring with me? Uh... What was it just, uh... On the floor near the window, there was a visible fresh trace. Was that... blood? Yeah, I would imagine. Anything else? Make sure before we leave. Uh, I guess not. Closed from the inside. Right. Do I need to get, uh, go roaming around or do they want me to just get into the train? Probably just want me to get into the train. Ugh! Stuttering. I've seen a lot of bodies before. Killed during riots, frozen, suicides. But this one was different. He died recently. Military uniform and equipment. A badge. Armed forces of Atania. Apparently he was shot in the back. The bullet penetrated his bulletproof vest. In his hand, the man is holding a military radio. Transmission button is tightly fused. His pockets, they are empty except for a small bunch of keys. On his waist, there's a parabellum gun. On the holster, there's writing from father to son, Luger 8 from the Rock... Rock... I, however you say that, family. I've seen a lot of bodies before. Yes, thanks. So I took the radio. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> that sound. I fired the gun and shot took another life with a Rambo. I didn't have a choice. Poor dog. I was just assuming it was hostile though. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I didn't have to shoot. Oh dear. I have no idea why it's stuttering so much. Okay, so the guy had some keys and a radio. Check if we can get into that, uh, other part of the building now. One of the keys from the bunch I'd found passed, and the lock succumbed to it. Right. Guitar. Important. All I found in a backpack, a half-empty notebook, and a pack of cigarettes. Oh dear. Oh dear. Stop that, please. Nothing? Apparently the murdered soldier lived here. For some time. Apparently. Okay, well, let's see if we can, what we can do with this train. Okay. Locked. Okay. 
Okay, so start a fire. The boiler. Got some wood. Um, where do you want me to open the boiler? Okay. Do I have what I need to start this? Can't interact with it anymore? Um... That's the lighter. Do I need some fuel? Uh, okay. Cool. So... I guess it's not a time yet. Guess not. Um, guess I'm gonna need some fuel. Let's see if I miss some back here. I mean, I saw the fuel can. But I can't seem to interact with it. We locked all the doors, why? Well, I don't know. Gotta be something I'm missing, because the- oh. See this? Can't interact with any of this. Um, I wonder if they want me to go searching around out in the wild some more. Kind of doubt it. Oh, do I need to close it? Before I start the fire? There we go. Okay, I adjusted that. Did I put it all the way out? Yes. So, is it this now? I guess it's not a time yet. Okay. Fire is going in there. Oh, here we go. Didn't do anything. Now this. Aha! All the systems were ready. I had to pack everything I needed. There was a long road ahead. And we're off. Oh, okay, that's the end of the demo. You know, it's kind of a cool little game. Uh, I do have it on my wish list, so maybe I'll pick it up sometime here. Next time I get some spare money for games. I like the uh, the slow kind of style, and it's like... I don't know. I, I'm kind of a sucker for anything post-apocalyptic. Uh, so, yeah, I'll keep, uh, I'll keep uh, this on my list for potential to pick up. And I uh, guess that'll do it for this demo, so I'll see you guys later. Oh, I'll put a link for this game in the description if you're uh, interested in it. But yeah, see you guys later.